being a locum allows me to have the flexibility to spend more time with my family and, um, and to travel, not just for work, but um, I take time off in between jobs and travel around the world. The best thing about being a locum is the flexibility. I, I am living the life um, that I've always wanted to have, a, uh, a life that a lot of people are a little bit jealous of. I work when I want to work and I don't when I don't. So um, this has allowed me to spend more time with my family, more time visiting friends and um, traveling abroad, which is my, my favorite thing in the world. So yeah, that's, that's definitely hands down the best thing. And um, being a locum, if you, if you like a job, you, you stay there you know, as long as they need you to stay there and there's an easy out where you give your 30 days notice and you can leave and that's it. There's no arguing about it. There's no, no problems with that. Whereas if you have a full-time job, it's, it's 90 days if you want to leave. And if you want to leave a job and you're at that point where you're giving notice, 90 days is a really long time to stay in an environment that you don't want to be in. Um, again, the, the chance to broaden your skill set and learn new things and learn new ways of doing the same thing is, is very helpful. Learning how to work in different environments with different types of people, different types of personalities, different types of clinic cultures. You know, there's um, just like in an office, there's, you know, from one company to another, there's very different um, very different personalities and different cultures there and and same thing goes with with healthcare clinics and so the variety um, it's an interesting learning experience so you just get to to meet all different types of people I've got friends all over the country now from from different jobs that I've had and um, yeah and I've learned I've learned a lot I've learned a lot being a locum My first day of my first locum job ever, I, I, I walked out of the clinic with a smile on my face. And, and I didn't even think about it until I got into my car and I thought, my God, I'm, like, I'm happy right now. I'm leaving work and I feel really happy. Like I feel like what I did today mattered. And, and yeah, I'm helping a clinic and, and that's great and they're, they're understaffed, but, um, but I'm working with patients that, that are truly grateful for what I can do for them. And, and that is, is rewarding in a way that you just can't, you can't put a dollar sign on. It was, it was wonderful. So, um, so in a sense, being, becoming a locum and working in different areas with different types of people has, has made me appreciate medicine again. And um, the power that you have to, to make a huge difference in someone's life, not just through medical things, but just by being a supportive person and taking care of them and caring for them at a time when they think that nobody else does. To providers that might be hesitant to do locum tenens work, I was scared to death when I first started. I've never not had a full-time job as an adult. Like you, that's that's the normal expected adult thing to do is you have a full-time job, and when you when you leave your reliable, steady, full-time job to to jump into the world of of being a locum, it's it's terrifying. I had this this absolute fear that I was going to be you know, broke without a job, sitting there waiting for someone to call me. And that's not happened to me once in, in three years. I've, I've, not, I've never had a time where I'm not working. So if that's something you're concerned about, don't worry about it. It, it takes care of itself. Um, sometimes you find yourself wanting to have a little bit of time off and you end up working instead. So <laughs> it kind of wor works, it works differently than you would expect. And um, it's always, it's always a, a nervous thing, but if you are an adventurous kind of person who doesn't want to do the same old, same old thing and see the same type of things every single day and work in the same environment every single day, it's a, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful job. And you can actually have a life outside of, outside of work. Um, if you're feeling like you don't have a life right now because you got a full-time job, you probably don't. You ought to go locum. It's um, broadened my knowledge base uh, significantly. You, when you travel in different parts of the country and see different types of patients, you see different types of pathology that you wouldn't see necessarily if you stayed in the same place, you know, locally for your entire career. It teaches you how to work in all different types of environments, from um, clinics that are very under-resourced, understaffed, um, and and different types of patients. So I've I've worked in any where from something that felt kind of like a Doctors Without Borders, inside our borders, to places like the Provincetown Clinic that's very well, well staffed, well equipped, um, with a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. 
my my Vlocum Tenems bucket list would definitely include some time in a big city. Um, and um, yeah, I would love to do San Francisco, I think would be really fun. New York would be really fun. Um, sometimes I think of the winter, I'd like to go down to Florida for a little while, but definitely my, my parents are in Tennessee and my daughter lives in Virginia, so I'd like to be able to spend time in an area that's kind of in there because I like being around my family. Barton does a great job coordinating my travel for me. They have, have, I've never had a problem with any place that they've picked for me to stay. They're um, very good. I can just, well, I'm kind of picky about where, how I, how I fly because I live outside of Knoxville and that can be tricky to get flights sometimes. So I, I basically send them the flights that I want and they put me on them. So it works, it works really well. They do a great job. And they're also, you know what, they're also really good with if you have last minute changes. I had some problems coming home from Turkey in, uh, at the end of January and I was supposed to be in California to start an assignment in February. And uh, I was so delayed, it was like a four day weather delay. And they took care of everything, got me on different flights, got my hotels, everything was just taken care of. I've never shown up someplace and not had everything exactly as it was supposed to be. So, yay Barton Travel, doing awesome. <laughs> So some things you should look for in any Logum agency that you're going to work with. You need to um, make sure that they're really reliable. You need to have a reliable rep that you can talk to and be very honest with and that takes the time to get to know you and the kind of places you want to go. Um, anybody can throw any old random job at you but it, it's, there's a little bit more of an art to it if you have someone that gets to know you, what your hobbies are, what you like to do, the type of environment you like to be in. Um, and likewise what you don't want to do and and that they find things that are appropriate for you um, other things that that don't seem like a big deal but that really are are how you get paid is um, how do you submit your times Barton is awesome you guys have this great little app so every day when I leave work I just put my hours in my in my app and it's saved and it's stored and and I don't have to sit there and write things down on a, on a sheet like they did in 1992, putting in how many hours I was there. I don't have to do any of that. don't have to fax anything, and I don't have to send anything to anybody to approve. I just submit my timesheet. It's done. Um, reimbursements have been excellent for, for everything. It's just, um, those are all things you want to look at. And, um, you know, how, how long have they been doing what they're doing? How, how many providers do they have working with them? How many um, clients do they have? So those are all things I think they should take a look at. I chose to work with Barton because they um, seem to be a really reputable company. I read about them on a, on a couple of forums for providers, people talking about locum tenens agencies. And, um, and I talked to Nate, who was, who was still my rep, and hopefully will always stay there and still be my rep. He's um, been fantastic, made me feel very comfortable with the thought of, um, of trying this work because, again, my biggest fear was always, I'm not going to have a job. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be stuck. and, and you know, have to resort to taking some crappy full-time job that I don't want to take because I'm not going to have enough jobs as a locum, and that's never happened. Um, there was another agency that I talked to before you guys, and, and they had like three or four jobs. That was it. And I thought, my God, you know, that's, um, so that made me a little bit nervous, but he took the time to get to know me, and we, we talked a lot. Um, I think every day I had off, I was probably on the phone with him, and just, you know, just talking about all kinds of different things, what I liked, what I didn't like, um, the types of um, communities I like to be in, parts of the country I wanted to work in, um, what I was willing to do, what I wasn't willing to do. And um, so on that, I took the leap of faith and started doing locum work. And I've, I've loved it. And he's done a fantastic job for me. Really has been extremely accessible. I can call him any time. And I do. <laughs> I drive him nuts. Um, but he has taken care of everything. I've never... Um, He's extremely reliable, and that for me is is key because if I can't rely on you to answer my phone call quickly, to to get back to me quickly about something, um, then I start questioning. You know how how much are you going to leave me in the lurch if something happens? So I always know that if something goes wrong, which it never really does, but and you know if it were to go wrong, I know he would take care of it right away. So he's um, he's been wonderful. Barton 
went above and, and beyond for me last summer. I had um, a needle stick injury at work. And at first we thought I was covered by, by workman's comp through the clinic here, and, um, and I wasn't because I'm, a, I'm not a full-time employee. So um, the, the nature of the needle stick um, and circumstances around it meant that I had to take a medication for an HIV exposure uh, for 30 days. And um, so I got the prescriptions, not expecting to get a bill for it because it happened at work, and then found out that it was a three hundred, or I'm sorry, three thousand dollar tab that um, that I needed for these two medications. And uh, Barton actually came through and and reimbursed me for the cost of those medications, and that was. Um, I, I, I honestly, when Nate said, you know, we're going to take care of it for you, I, I think I cried. <laughs> I was, I was, um, I've never been so grateful for, for, for anything ever. And, and really for someone to have absolutely no obligation to do, you know, legally no, no obligation, but to do something just because it's doing the right thing, that I will be eternally grateful for that. That, um, that wasn't just acting as a, a business or a corporation, that was acting as, as, Kind of my friend, you know, that I'm, I was, I've never been so impressed by anything any company has ever done. This is my favorite job ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a it's a really fun place to work. The patients here are great. The people I work with are, are wonderful. It's just it's a really fun place to, to come for the summer. Well, as you've noticed, it's quite just a fun place to just take a walk. You never, it's never the same two days in a row. So, um, uh, and interestingly, when you come to Cape Cod, everybody wants to come and visit you. So, my, my daughters come down to visit. My parents are coming up to or coming up to visit uh, in a couple weeks. And um, there's beautiful beaches, just everything. Lots of shows in town, all kinds of things to do. Lots of fun. One of the most rewarding things in the world is to have a patient ask you if you will be their primary care provider. And, um, and the sadness that they feel when you tell them, no, you're not going to be there for long, and they ask you what they can do to make you stay. That's a, that's a really big one. Another one is to have someone come to see you who's, who's thoroughly depressed and, and suffering horribly with, with massive depression where they're not leaving the house, not getting out of bed, not, um, not taking care of themselves. And then you start them on their medication and, and follow up with them really, really closely. And, um, and then happen to just see them one day walking down the street with a friend and they look happy. That's, um, you can't, can't put money on that. That's wonderful. Um, to be able to, to give someone comfort and to reassure them that, that um, that everything's going to be okay. It sounds really cheesy, but but there's something to being able to have someone walk into your clinic and be uh, very worried about something, very afraid that they have something. In the age of the internet, people are reading all kinds of things online, all kinds of misinformation out there, and to be able to sit down and talk with them and um, to reassure them that that the worst case scenario isn't happening. You know, you'd be surprised how many people <laughs> there are out there that have chronic health anxiety now because of things they read online, to be able to, to relieve that fear for them. And um, the best part about being in Provincetown is coming back the following year and running into your patients that you've seen before and, and have them jumping up and down when you walk in the room. It's, it's so wonderful. There's nothing in the world like that. To, to, it's like coming back to family. It's a, um, it's a privilege and it's a gift.